Mark Brennan runs a high-producing pedigree Holstein herd in County Louth. Mark is using zero grazing to help reduce his concentrate bills and to increase his milk yields and milk solids. Here is what Mark had to say about the Grass Tech Grazer. My name is Mark Brennan, uh, living here in Pepperstown, uh, RD County Loud. Um, have the zero grazing now since last February, so we'd we'll be into our second season of it. Um, it's working, working very well. Uh, we'd be very committed to the zero grazing. I've gone, we've tried a, a lot of different things last year, um, as in keeping the cows in, letting the cows out, um, only buffer feeding them, and it, it didn't really click properly until we sort of kept them in either day or night. So the way we done it was we kept them in during the day and we just let them out at night to a sacrifice paddock. And then we really started to, it really started to kick them the, the, the benefits of it. Um, this year I have them in uh, all the time at the moment um, and we just haven't decided if we're going to keep them in. But um, the way it's looking I'd like to keep, keep them in for, for, the, for the foreseeable future. Um, we've loads of grass there, we're following the grass as, we, as it comes available. Um, but it's, it's all positive, yeah, the cows are milking a lot, lot better. Milk yield, uh, I would class myself as, as a, a high yield in herd. Um, if my, my main aim was to hold the yield with, without having to feed such high amounts of, of buffer and concentrates, and I've, I've, I've easily uh, matched that. Um, current milk yields would be 32 litres um, over, over a herd of 75 cows. Um, but butter fat would be around about 3.8, 3.9, and uh, protein would be around about the 3.45. Um, butter fats were up to 4% there, but to just have pulled back a slight bit with the fresh grass. But um, I'd be hopeful that uh, we, we are feeding hay as well in the diet, so I'd be hopeful that we can pull that butter fat back up. Our cows would be around about the 10,000 10, litre cow. I would have put in some new varieties of, of hybrid grass and uh, I've grazed them maybe three or four weeks ago and I'm back in again. Yeah. Um, yeah. The plan is to graze them every maybe 18 days. There's an awful difference between old types of grass and new types of grass and that's the first thing that showed up with the zero grazer. Um, um, the old lays were just weren't performing no matter what cover was on them. And they, and they anyway, and when you get to June and July and we were having trouble with getting performance out of them, so we, we kind of pulled a lot out, we receded 50 acres. The, the cover would be around about 16 to 1700, um, I, the ideal cover for the zero grazer. You can let it go that little bit stronger, I feel, um, and also to have a small little bit of fibre in it is, is no harm. The waste levels would be small. Um, again, it's down to your fresh, sugary grass, um, if, if there's any... Um, if there's any, you know, weeds or stuff in the field that they don't like it, like my cows would be very picky because they are getting offered um, uh, buffer as well. They are, they, they are getting offered buffer, um, so, but waste would be small if if you get it right. You know, it's 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 a learning process. You know, no real issues. Um, if any issues were there, um, they'd be ironed out very quick. You know, so very very happy with the service and. Uh, uh, re reliability etc. To see more videos or information about our customers or the Grass Tech Grazer, visit grasstech.ie or the Grass Technology Limited YouTube channel.